As a reminder, not all exercise is suitable for everyone. To reduce the risk of injury, consult your doctor before beginning this or any exercise program. The instruction is in no way intended as a substitute for medical counseling. The VON disclaims any liabilities or loss in connection with this exercise video and advice herein. So please exercise with caution. No exercise should hurt, so make sure you are always working within your own limits. Welcome to the VON Simcoe County Smart Exercise Program YouTube video. My name's Rita and I'll be your exercise leader today. I'm with the SMART program in the Barry area. So welcome. I just have a few directions to give to you before we get started. So once I do that, if you need to pause the video to get ready, please do so. Make sure you're wearing comfortable clothing. You have runners on, they're tied up. You have some water close by. Make sure your area is clear and free of anything that you could slip or trip on. And please grab a chair and join me. I'm going to start off our warm-up seated in a chair. Thank you for joining me. Make sure you work at your own pace. This is your exercise. We're just going to warm up, get the blood flowing to the muscles. Then we're going to warm up the joints before we get into our cardio. So a little march on the spot. If you feel like you want to stand, please do. This is your workout. Make sure you're safe and behind your chair if you're standing. Excellent. Let's just get that blood flowing. Then I'm going to warm up the joints. I'm going to start bottom up today. So feet are flat down. Let's just start with some toe lifts. Good. Make sure you're seated in your chair nice and tall. If your back's not against the back of the chair, you can engage more core muscles. If you feel like you need to lean back into the chair for support, please do. Excellent, let's take both toes, well, all toes, not just two toes, and lift both feet. Good, toes up. Excellent. I'm really happy that you joined me today, and I hope that you will get some benefits out of this. I'm sure you will. Let's switch to heels up one foot at a time. I know I benefit every time I do this. I've been teaching with the VON for over five years now and I love it. And I know I'm hoping that maybe some of my participants are tuning in, so hello. And let's do both heels. Excellent. And we did march, so we did lift the knees, but this time let's try to lift the knees up a little bit higher. Good. Warming up the hips. Excellent. And just remember while you're exercising to always breathe. I know that sounds silly sometimes. We hold our breath when we're exercising and that's never good. So as long as you're breathing and you're moving, you're doing it right. Good, let's lead with the right leg, tap it out to the side, bring it in and switch. Good, little out and in. So we just wanna warm up all the joints before we start into our cardio. This is when I say I'm nice to you for five minutes. No, I'm always nice. Good. And let's take it out two more times each side. And last one, and then let's do leg extension. So we're warming up those knee joints. Excellent. Alternating right, left. I like to say right, left, but you definitely just don't worry about that part as long as you're moving, right? Okay, so if you can, leave that right leg out and let's circle that ankle. I just like to work your brain along with your body and reverse. Excellent. Lower down, let's switch to the left and circle that ankle. One way and the 
other. Good work. And seated nice and tall, feet are flat. Let's just swing those arms forward back. Good, just warming up those shoulders. Good, let's keep them just shoulder height. We're not gonna go overhead right now. And then let's alternate hands to the shoulder. So warming up the elbows. Good. And this time let's do both hands to the shoulders and let's do some circles in. Leading with those elbows and then circles out. Good. Let's go again. Circles in. If you can, make it bigger this time. If you can, just stay where we did it the first round. Good. And reverse. Good job. And let's do two more. Last one. Give that a little shake out. Nice and tall, let's just shrug the shoulders. Good, shoulders up to the ears, drop down. This is usually when I ask, how do you like it? How do you like it so far? I don't know. No. <laughs> Good work. Let's do three more. And last one. And then just seated nice and tall, let's drop the ear down to the shoulder. Good, and then we're gonna circle chin down to the chest and other side ear down to the shoulder. Good, let's go the other way now and ear down to the shoulder. Chin down to the chest and then ear down to the other shoulder. Good, this time with the head looking straight ahead, we're going to look over the right shoulder Hold here. Good, then head back down. Center and chin down to the chest. Good. Head back up, let's look to the left. Hold here. And then head back center and chin down to the chest. Good work, we're almost done warming up and gonna be standing up shortly. Just hands in front, circle those wrists. And reverse. Good, if you have the flexibility, link those fingers. Let's do just some figure eights here in front. Good work. And give it all a little shake out. Roll those shoulders back. Roll them forward. Good, we're gonna take some deep breaths. Deep breath in, through the nose, out through the mouth. Let's do that again. Deep breath in and out. Two more times. And last one, deep breath. Good work, so we're gonna stand up for the next round, we're gonna do some cardio. So nice and tall, getting behind your chair. If you have a walker in front, make sure your brakes are on. If you want another chair in front, you don't wanna get behind, please do that. If you have water and wanna drink, please do that as well. For purposes of the video that you can see me, I am going to push my chair aside, but I would like you to be standing behind the chair. Good. So we're gonna start off with the march. And again, warming up. So this is our cardio part. And we wanna get that heart rate up. We wanna keep that heart rate up for at least 10 minutes. Going at your own pace. So remember, as long as you're moving and you're safe, that's what you need to be doing. You need to be listening to your body. If you feel like you're out of breath and you need to take a little pause, please do. Good, so I like to warm us up using right side and then left side. So again, 
If you don't wish to do follow that part, you just keep moving and that's good. All right, we're gonna lead with the right leg, left arm, heel to the front, opposite arm. As I said, I like to work your brain, but if you wanna do just the heels you're holding on, that's good too. Excellent. Just warming up. Well, this is our cardio, so getting that heart rate up. <laughs> I hope you're warmed up by now. And let's switch to toe tap. If you can, reach that hand a little bit higher. Good. So toe taps in front, leading right, left. Good job. And let's do three more each side. And last one, we're gonna lead with the right leg out to the side and then the left. If you can, you can do both arms out. You can do same arm, same leg. Whatever level that you would like to work at. Good. Just making sure that you're comfortable and safe. Excellent. Well, you don't want to get too comfortable like that you're not doing it. <laughs> and again, you can do singles or double with the arms. Just not double with the legs. And let's take it to the rear. Hamstring curls. Let's do some bicep curls as we're doing hamstrings. So we're going to take hand up to the shoulder. Good. Again, opposite arm leg. You can do both arms with this one. And again, just not both legs, right? Okay, that would be tricky. And let's keep going. Hamstring curls. Good. Heart rate should be up by now. I know mine is. And let's do one more each side and then Let's do kick and opposite arm. Good. Right, left. Excellent. So again, if you need to hold on to that chair, please do. You've got a little bit of balance going on here with lifting that foot up off the floor. Good work. And let's do two more each side. And then march it out. So we're going to do that warm-up again. Or that little cardio routine again. But we're going to start with the left side. Good. So left leg, right arm, and switch. Heels to the front. So remember, if you want to do just heels or just arms, this is your workout. As long as your heart rate's getting up there, Good, two more each side, then we're gonna switch to toe tap and lifting arm a little bit higher if you can. Good, at any time, if you need to just march it out, get a drink, please do so. Good work. Let's do two more each side. And then we're going to do left leg, left arm this time to switch it up. We're going to do a little toe tap out to the side and a little reach in front. Good. So if you want to take that arm up overhead at this point because we're nice and warmed up, if you have that range of motion, you can get that arm up. That'll get the heart rate up a little bit more lifting the arms higher good two more each side and let's take it hamstring curls biceps you can do remember one arm at a time or both you can also switch it to triceps if you want to push it back excellent Good work. Let's do two more each side. Now we're going to kick it out to the front, left, right. 
Good. Opposite arm if you can. Good job. And let's do three more each side. Last one. Good. Keep on marching. This time if you can, we're going to lift up the knees a little bit higher. Now if you can, you're going to take hands to the knees, kind of reaching with that opposite hand. Good work. If you don't want to use the arms, you can just lift that knee. Good work. So this is the second part of the cardio. Good job. Remember if you need a little break, just slow down your march, get a drink. Let's do two more each side. And a little march out wide. Good, let's stay with that wide march. with the right side and tap in and out. Good. Add those arms so if you can just swing them side to side. Keeping that heart rate up. Anytime you add the arms you're getting that heart rate up a little bit more. Good. Just go at your own pace. Okay so if you can we're going to lead with the right side double step. So step together, step, step together, step. Or you can stay with that single step in and out that I was doing at the beginning. Good. Step together, step. Good work. Two more. Each way. Last one. Good. And center. March. Good. Gonna march narrow. And this time, we're gonna lead with the right leg again and march forward back. Just a one, two, three, tap. Two, three, tap. Two, three, tap. Good. So if you don't have the room, you can always march just on the spot. Good. Doing awesome. And going at your own pace. If you want to go faster, you feel safe doing that, you can. Good. If you don't want to count it out with the step and tap, that's okay. Just march it out. And two more. Good. Last one. And let's just stay here with the march. Good. Okay, we're going to do another one leading with the right side. We're going to take one step forward, one step back. So it looks like this. Right, left, right, left, front, front. Good. Two more. And last one. Good little march. Good work. So we're going to do that all again, leading with that left side. So start with that march out wide. Good. So leading with the left leg, little tap in and out, and swinging those arms side to side. Keeping that heart rate up. And remember, if you need to get a drink, please do so. Okay, it's going to be left side double step, so step together, step. Good. You can do little circles with the arms. If you don't want to have the arms up so high, you can have them side to side. Good. Two more. And last one. Good. Center and march. 
Good. This time we're going to march forward, back, or again, just on in the spot. And we're going to lead with that left leg to step forward. One, two, three, tap. Back, two, three, tap. Two, three, tap. Good. Go at your own pace. Good job. Just getting that heart rate. Well, not getting it up, but keeping it up. Good work. <laughs> and let's do two more each way. And last one. Good work. And march it out. Okay, we're going to lead with that left leg for the step forward back when you're ready. And left, right, left, right, front, front, back, back. Good. I won't do any fancy arms with this at this point. <laughs> you can always try to do arms going out, out, in, in. Good. Two more. And last one. Good work. So keep on marching. Gonna keep that heart rate up for a little bit more. And once our heart rate is up, we want to take it down nice and slow to a bit of a cool down before we sit down again to do some of our exercises. Good. Gonna just keep our heart rate up for a little bit longer. So let's do those heels in front double arms. Good. If you don't feel comfortable double, you can do single. And toes and lift. Good. And side to side. Singles. And doubles. Good. You can stay single. This time we're going to take toe tap back with opposite arm. So I'm going to just move to the side so you can see. Toe tap back, opposite arm, little ski. Good work. Good job. One more each side and center march. Good work. Let's do that again. So heels to the front, double arms. Good. Two more each side, then we're going to switch to toe tap and reaching higher. Toes. Reach. Good work. And side to side, let's do the reach in front or reach above. Good. Keeping that heart rate up, still into our cardio. We're going to slow it down pretty soon. And let's do one more each side. And then toe tap back, opposite arm. Good. Remember, it doesn't have to be opposite. Good work. So you should still have your heart rate up there. I know mine is. So I'm going to try to slow down the heart rate. First with the march. Then with lowering the knees till you're doing just the heels. We're going to keep the arms going. Little running arms. Good. And then we're going to switch to toe lifts. One foot at a time. If you can while you're doing that, finger taps. One at a time to the thumbs. Good work. 
and you should feel your heart rate coming down. Now let's just do a few swims. You can take some deep breaths with that. Good. Excellent. Four more. Deep breath. In and out. And last one. Good work. Give that a little shake out. Good. And let's just do some little slow heels to the front. Good. And then slow heels to the bottom. Excellent. If you feel like your heart rate is down enough for you to have a seat now, please have a seat. I am going to have some water, so I'm going to ask you to join me in having a drink. Thank you for participating. All right, so we're going to do some strength exercises seated. In our classes, we often use bands or balls as some equipment. We won't be using that in this video um, because we're not sure who has it and who doesn't. So just going to do some toe lifts. Good working the shins. I know we did it in the warm up too, just warming up the ankles. But really think about as you're lifting those toes, think about those shins in front. Good. And let's do four more. Now we're going to do just heels together. Good. So this is working the calves. There goes the cracks. Good. And then let's just try one of each. So one foot heel, one foot toe, and switch. Good. This one can be tricky. I always say just don't look. Don't look at your feet. Excellent. And from the center, we're going to lead with the right side and do a little walk out heel toe. A little half Charleston here. And then switch. Good. Out in. Let's do again one at a time. Out in. Heel toe. Excellent. And now let's do both together. So a little Charleston out in. Heels, toes, nice and tall, seated. Good. Two more. And last one. Good work. Nice and tall. We are going to lead with the left arm. And we're going to take the arm out front. And we're going to tap that shoulder. We're working triceps. So we're going to reach out in front and tap that shoulder. If you need to assist that with the other arm, just holding here. If you can't reach quite to your shoulder, you just reach to where you feel comfortable. Good. Working that tricep. So you want that full extension on the way down. Good. So that's where you're targeting tricep. Bend and extend. Four. Good. Two more. Last one. You might want to give that a little shake out. Nice and tall. Reach. Good. Right arm. Reach and again if you need to assist that hold there and you're going to tap and extend and just reaching back as far as you can with that tap. Good. Nice and tall. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Good. Give that a little shake out. Shake out those shoulders. Let's do a little piano. Sometimes when I have my music, there's piano in there and I'm going with the music here. 
Good. Just learning to play the keyboards myself, and this is nothing what it looks like. <laughs> and center. Okay, this time we're going to do some bicep curls. So elbows in tight, hands up to the shoulders, and lower down. So breath out, and then lower down. And we want to control it up. So you have that little bit of a squeeze at the top and then lower down, control it down. Good, breath out. We often do these with our bands. Good, and lower down. You are doing awesome. Thank you for tuning in and staying with us. Really appreciate that. Good. Let's do four more. Four. Three, two, good, and last one. Give that a little shake out, good. This time with the right leg, you might want to sit a little bit forward with this one. I'm going to get your right leg straight out. Seated nice and tall, and we're going to just slide that leg out to the side, slide it back in, good. This is your range of motion, so if it's just a little slide out, you might have an arm on your chair where it makes it more difficult to take it out further. And let's just stay here for four, three, two, last one. Bring that leg all the way in, nice and tall. Switch sides and slide it out and in. Good work. Good job. And nice and tall, going to your range of motion. And let's do four more. Four, three, two, last one. Good, nice and tall. Let's do that circuit one more time. Let's just start with some heels up this time. Heels together. Good. And four, two more. And then we're going to switch to toes up, both feet, lift, good, work in those shins, four, three, good, then let's try one of each, one foot toes, other foot heel, switch, good. And let's start off with Charleston, both feet this time. If you want to add the arms, cross in front and out. And in, you don't have to add the arms. You can just keep hands to the same side. And four, good, three. Oh, apparently I can't talk and do the arms at the same time. <laughs> Two more. <laughs> And last one. Good work. Let's do just the right side. Out. In. Two more. And last one. Good. Let's switch to the left and heels, toes out. And in. And again, two more. Good. Last one. And nice and tall. Let's lead with that right arm. Palm up. Bend and extend, working that tricep. Remember, you can assist that and hold with the other hand. Four, three, two, and switch. Palm up. Bend and extend to your range of motion. Good work. We're going to do less reps the second round. Three, two, and last one. Good. Get that little shake out. Little piano. We like the piano. Good. And center and bicep curls. Taking it up to the top. Breath out. Lower down. Control. Breath out. Lower down. Breath in. Good. And four. Good work, lower down, nice and slow, breath out. 
and lower down nice and slow two more control it and last one good work give that a little shake out okay let's lead with the left leg straight out remember you might want to sit a little bit more forward for this one taking it out and then i'm going to just do four more four three two last one bring it all the way in switch and out and in good and four three two and last one good nice and tall we're going to start a new circuit we're going to work some chest goal post arms as close as you can get the elbows together and open good remember to breathe we're going to breathe in on the open out on the close breath in breath out breath in breath out and four good three go to your range of motion you might not be able to get those elbows all the way in two more good last one excellent give that a little shake out Let's do some stand to sit. Make sure your ankles are underneath your knees. We're going to stand up nice and tall. If you have arms on your chair, you want to push off off those arms. That's okay. If you're going to stay seated and not stand because of some issues, you might want to just hinge at the hips, push down to the floor so you can activate those muscles and then relax. Or you can also do some little knees up or leg extension with a little hold good so whatever level if you can we're going to stand and then we're going to sit back slow we like to do it on a count of four down good hinging at the hips make sure you're bringing most of your weight through the heels of your feet so those ankles are right underneath your knees Good, standing up tall, sitting back into that chair. Good, nice and tall and down and four, three, two, good. And we just don't want to plop down into the chair, so we want to control it. Good. Go at your own pace. And remember, if you have arms on the chair and you're using those, you can push off those arms. If you're seated, you can do one of the other options. I like to do about 8 to 12. And usually if I keep talking, I don't know how many I've done, but I know I've done at least that many. <laughs> good work. Okay, so this is probably a good time to give you a little riddle and nice and slow. Two. And... Nice and slow. Good work. Let's do four more. I think that should be about right. I said I was going to give you a riddle and no I didn't. I'm trying to think if you want to see the video over and over with the same riddle. And two more. Good, nice and slow. Four, three, two, good. Last one, and nice and slow. Four, three, two, two, two. Oh, I got stuck. And give that a little shake out. Good work. So we're gonna do some upper body. If you need to catch your breath or have a drink, please do so. Actually, let's just catch our breath a couple times. Deep breath in. We'll stand to sit, really get the heart rate going. And one more deep breath. Good. So let's reach those arms in front and let's row it back. Good. So we're going to reach in front, row back. Think about squeezing those shoulder blades together. Let's do four more. Four. Three. Two. Last one. Let's do just the right side. You can keep both arms out and just do just the right. Three, two, 
and just the left and row it back good and four three two last one good give those arms a little shake out let's lead with the right leg leg extension and switch good little hold at the top so you're strengthening those quads good roll in the cracks crack and let's stay with just the right four three two this time if you can leave that leg out and we're gonna point and flex point and flex good four three two and switch sides so four three two and hold and point and flex good just the toes point flex four three two Good work. Nice and tall. Let's do that one more time. So goal post arms. We're starting with those chest exercises. Open and close. Good. Breath in. Breath out. And let's do four more right here. Four. Your range of motion. Three. Two. Good. Last one. Good work, give that a little shake out. And we're gonna do that stand to sit. So nice and tall, ankles underneath the knees. Can do less reps this round. Maybe just four to six and nice and slow back down. And hinging at the hips, weight through the heels, nice and tall, slow back down. Good, two more. And let's do just one last one. Good work, nice and slow back down. Good job, nice and tall. So we're gonna do the rows, so both arms out. Row it back, squeeze those shoulder blades together. Breath in, breath out. And right here, let's do four more. Four, three, two, last one. Then give that a little shake out. And let's do alternating leg extension. Good. And we're not gonna do just the single side this round. And we're just gonna hold that single leg out, just a little point flex. And two more. Good. And lower down, switch legs, little point flex. Excellent work. Two more. Good. So we're going to stand up and do some lower body strengthening and some balance. So we're gonna again get up like we did for our sit to stand, getting behind your chair in front of a walker. I'm gonna get beside my chair again, moving that out of the way. So nice and tall, gonna start off with balance. So gonna get your feet a little bit wider than shoulder width apart. Nice and tall, shoulders down and back and just Shift your weight side to side. So you can do just a little shift. Remember, you can hold on if you need to. You can hold on both hands, one hand, no hands. And then you want to make it a little bit more challenging besides the hands on or off. You can shift that weight and lift that heel up. Good, so you're shifting and opposite heel is coming up. Good, and if you feel like you want that little bit more of a challenge, you can lift that foot up, side to side. Good, so work at your level. Think about shifting weight, side to side. 
Good. So we're going to continue with some balance. Going to bring the feet right underneath the hips. Good. Shoulders are down and back. This time we're going to shift our weight forward back. So as you do that, your heels and toes will come up slightly. This isn't like the heel toe exercise that we did during the cardio part or even seated. This is shifting your body and letting just naturally lifting of the heels and toes. Good. Excellent. Okay, so you're right behind your chair. I'm gonna get you to hold on this time because we're gonna do a, a single leg um, balance challenge. So nice and tall, holding on. We're going to lift the right knee up. If you wanna hold just the leg back, that's okay. If you feel like you can take that leg forward, just to where you feel comfortable. You can even have just toes tapping down, either in front or behind. Your weight is on that leg, but make sure you're not leaning on it. You're staying up nice and tall. Good. So you're holding on to that chair, and if you can, take that opposite arm out. So you can still hold on with one hand if you need to hold on with both. Good. Then challenge, if you can, both arms and hold. And again, if you need a challenge, I don't know if I can do this one, hold on. <laughs> uh, I feel like I can't. You can look <laughs> over the shoulder and good. Oh, wow. All right. Okay, so we're going to get right into another balance challenge. So with that foot that you have up, take it in front. So it's right leg and you're going to have it in front. And we're going to start with toes of the right heel of the left. Little swing forward back. Good. Excellent. If you really want to challenge, you can bring it heel to toe and still continue with the toes of the front, heel of the back. If you need to take the feet further apart, that's easier. Closer together, more challenging. Good, so just staying with our balance challenge. And heel to toe. Good, I'm going to add in a little hamstring curl, so a little strengthening exercise right now before we switch to the other side. So please hold on if you need to. And we are going to take heel to the bottom of the back leg. So you can still take toes in front and then heel to the bottom. So we're doing a little hamstring curl into our balance challenge. Good. And four, three, two, last one. Good work. That little shake it. So we're gonna do that all on the other side. So nice and tall. Feet are right underneath the hips. Good. So we're gonna take that leg up. So this time it should be left leg. Shift your weight to the right, but staying nice and tall. You can either have toe back, toe forward, lifting that leg back or knee up. And if you can, that opposite arm out. Good. All right. It's really important working on that balance. If you can, both arms, remember, safety first. So if you need to, please hold on. And you can also do the challenge by shifting head. Good. And holding here for four, three, 
two, and lower that foot down. So this is left foot forward. Remember, the wider the stance, easier, closer together, more challenging. We're again doing the balance challenge. We're lifting toes of the front, heel of the back. And then with that, going to end up with some hamstring curls with that back leg. Good, nice and tall. And let's take it back leg, heel to the bottom. Please hold on if you need to, so you're still doing toes up, heel back. Toes up, heel back. Good. So we're going to do eight hamstring curls. So we have four more. Good. Three, two, and last one. Good. We're going to get into some strengthening exercises. So nice and tall, just some calf raises. So lifting up. Good. Lifting up. I'm going to lift up onto the toes. Feel those calf muscles contracting and lower down. Excellent. And four. Three. Two. Last one. Good, nice and tall. Leading with the right leg, we're going to do a little lunge to the front or step to the front. You can have hands on hips. If you need to stand beside your chair instead of behind, depending on the room. So you're going to do a little step forward with that right leg. So step to the front, little bend in the knee. Weight goes into that front foot. Make sure your knee doesn't go past the toe. And then bring it back and we're going to stay with that right leg. Step to the front, nice and tall. Take it back, good. Little lunge, so remember if you can't lunge, you can do just a little step. Good, just try to do weight bearing. So we're doing weight bearing in that right leg for four, three, good, two, and last one. Okay, it just started raining pretty hard here. I don't know if you're going to catch it on the video. Switch to the left leg and step to the front and back to the center. Good, front, weight bearing, center. Remember, watch that your knee doesn't go past your toe. Weight bearing. Push down into the floor. Push off. Bring it back to center. And let's stay here for four more. Four. Three. Two. And last one. Good work. Nice and tall. Behind your chair again, this time right leg. We're going to take it out to the side and lower. If you can't lift, it's just a little tap out. Good. And again, you need to hold on if you want to do one arm or no hands and lift. Just making sure that you're not leaning into that stable leg, nice and tall, no hip hike. Nice and tall, torso two, three, two, and let's switch weight into that stable leg and lifting other side, nice and tall. So again, it can just be a little toe tap out to the side or lift and lower. Excellent. And let's stay here for four. Three, two, nice and tall through the torso, and last one. Good work. Get that all shake out. Gonna finish off with the back extension. So I'm gonna turn to the side. I'm gonna get your right leg, toe down, heel up, left arm up, little back extension, and switch. Good. So we're gonna do 
Toe down, heel up, opposite arm. And we want to do a little pause. Good. And alternating. This time we're going to stay with the right leg, left arm. Back extension for three, two, and last one. Good. Let's switch sides. So it's right leg, left arm, and toe back, heel up, and last one. Good. Now that we're standing, I'm going to do some active stretching before we sit down and finish off our stretching. So little heels to the front. Think about bringing your hips back like you're sitting in a chair. Good work. I hope you had a good workout. I'm happy to be doing this with you. And then heels to the bottom, stretching out those quads. Good, nice and tall. Hold on if you need to, to your chair. Okay, you're going to need a little bit of room for this one, so you might want to step beside your chair. We're going to take the right leg back, toe down, and then just think about bringing that hip flexor forward. Good. Hip forward, stretching out the hip flexor. Excellent. And nice and tall. It always feels like a good stretch. We sit a lot, so our hip flexors are tight. And bring that in, switch. So toe down, heel up for this one. And hips under, stretching out that hip flexor. Excellent. We like to hold our stretches for about 20 seconds. And I'm going to do one more standing and then some stretches seated. So we're going to take that right leg back again. This time we're going to push the heel down. Toes are all pointed forward. You're going to bend that front leg nice and tall. So with this one, you're going to stretch out through the calf in behind. Good. And if you can, while you're standing up nice and tall, if you uh, don't need to hold on, you can also stretch out a little bit of the upper body by taking the arms open. Good. And bring everything back to the center, switch sides, so toes are pointed forward, heel is pressed back, front leg is bent, and you are standing nice and tall. Good. Remember to breathe. Excellent. Opening up. Holding here. Good work. And giving that a little bit of a shake out. So you can do the, uh, most of the stretches still standing if you wish. Or you can have a seat. Um, seated nice and tall. Feet are flat. Let's open up the goal post arms. And elbows held back. Good. Taking some deep breaths as you stretch out the chest. And we're going to hold here. Good. And then we're going to turn the thumbs down and palms facing back. Reach back, stretching out those biceps. Good. 
Good again. Nice deep breaths. Well, this was different having you in my living room instead of me coming to your home or your facility. Welcome. I enjoyed having you. And hands in front. We're going to take right hand to right shoulder or walk it as far back as you can. You're going to stretch out that tricep. If you need to assist that stretch with the other arm, just hold here. Good. Again, nice deep breaths. And let's lower it down and switch. So left hand to the left shoulder. Walk it back as far back as you can and assisting and holding. Good. Maintaining that nice tall posture. Good work. And let's lower that down. This time we're going to take our right hand to the left shoulder. Right hand to the opposite shoulder and with that other arm we are going to assist that stretch, stretching out that shoulder. So right across, good. Good work. And let's bring everything back to center. Other side, so hand to the opposite shoulder, assisting with the other hand. Just don't push on the elbow joint. I'm going to hold either pretty much at the tricep. Good, nice and tall. Good, stretching out that shoulder. And let's lower that down. Roll those shoulders back. Good, roll them forward. And Scooting a little bit forward for this one, we're going to take the right leg, heel down, toes up. Hands go on the bent leg. You want to hinge at the hips forward and hold that stretch. Good. Just looking forward and maintaining a nice straight back. Just hinging at the hips, not at the waist. Good and hold. So if you have the flexibility, we're going to take the heel back and the toes down. Good, so we're stretching out the front, the shin. And just hold there. Good, bring that leg in. Switch your hands to that leg because you're going to straighten out the other. So heel down. Toes up nice and tall, hinge forward at the hips. And again, you don't want the hands at the knee joint. Never want to put pressure on any of the joints. Good, nice and tall, hold. Oh, sounds like the rain might be stopping. I didn't have music in the background, but I had rain, I wonder. <laughs> How that was. Good. And heel back, toes down if you have that flexibility. Hold here. This is a perfect time to be doing that indoor exercise class when it's raining out. And you get to do it in your own living room too. Good, and bring that leg in. Good, so in front, let's just circle those wrists. And again. Good, let's make 
some of this open. If you can, press the palms together, elbows wide, a little pushing center. Good, then linking the fingers, those little figure eights. Good, and front. And coming center, get the arms a little shake out, shrugging the shoulders. Shoulders up to the ears, drop down. Good, leaving the shoulders down, going to drop ear down to the shoulder. Good, we're going to hold there. I know we uh, hold lots of tension in our shoulders and necks. Let's stretch it out, hold here. And then chin down to the chest, hold here. Good, other side, ear down to the shoulder. And hold. Good, and one more time, chin down to the chest and hold. Good work. Back to the center. And let's finish off with the deep breaths. Deep breath in and out. And again, deep breath in and out. Good. Two more. And last one. Good work. Give yourself a pat on the back. Good work. Good job. And thank you for joining me. And I hope that you check out some of the other videos or come back and do this one again. Thanks a lot. Have a great day.